The Nine Strangest Abandoned Places in Ohio An impressive coaster is now sitting in a marsh, the Ferris wheel is nothing but trust, and all of the other structures are slowly being claimed by the land that they were built upon. While many have claimed that they were going to do something with the land, nothing has stopped the steady decay of these once impressive structures. While you can only access this land with special permission, the photos from various sources speak for themselves. This is just a fine example of what was once a beautiful park being left to slowly rot away. Although it's been closed since 1978, many locals will still tell you stories of time spent at the parks. It was a true loss for Ohio. Roseville Prison, Roseville. A place that once housed thousands of violent criminals now rests dilapidated and falling apart in the sleepy town of Roseville, but the remains are pretty intense. The iconic watchtower still stands tall, as if it's still watching the prison as it falls to pieces, and the prison itself is becoming weathered, with the insides dank, dark, and getting pretty disgusting after sitting untouched for all these years. These days the place is on private property, and the owner doesn't exactly want people snooping around, so make sure you have permission before trying to get in. There are many stories of hauntings, and people have continually reported feeling sick after taking the time to explore within, so perhaps this is one of those places you just have to look at from the outside, but it's pretty ominous. There's no doubt about that. 3. Ohio State Reformatory, Mansfield Remember the Shawshank Redemption? Of course you do. Well, this abandoned prison was the spot where they filmed it at. Although there are tours given from time to time, and they even have a Halloween haunted house that runs right through it, it's definitely creepy to walk through. It's home to some of the craziest ghost stories in Ohio, and, with a history like it has, it's no wonder why. Whether you'll see a ghost there or not, it's definitely one of those places that will give you chills just looking at it. While there is still some activity that goes on in the spot, the place is still about as desolate as it gets once you're looking up into the catwalk, where cell after cell sits dormant. This is one spot that gives tours, so definitely check it out. 4. Jiggle Lake Amusement Park One of the biggest losses to Ohio's history comes from the mismanagement of Jiggle Lake's amusement park. After standing for over 125 years, and going through a massive expansion, the park was demolished without much warning less than a decade ago. While it's only been a few years since the place was closed down, the scars run deep with many of the locals, who have many fond memories of it. 5. Brookfield AFS-Brookfield Okay, so this one is really strange. This area was once home to a unit of the Air Force known as the 662nd Radar Squadron before they relocated to Pennsylvania back in the 60s. While it wasn't unusual for things like that to happen, the history behind this particular squadron was certainly unique. Apparently, this particular squadron was reported to be in charge of alien and UFO cover-ups, and assigned to keep enthusiasts off the case of anything that may have been the truth. While this can't be confirmed for obvious reasons, it's definitely strange that the properties were left to waste away after their sudden departure. Who knows, maybe there's something more to those alien stories than the government is letting on. Six, the Haydenville Tunnel, Haydenville. Many times abandoned places are closely related to paranormal activities, and few in Ohio compare to the hotspot that is the Haydenville Tunnel. What was once used as a transport tunnel now sits in ruins, with many parts caving in all over the place. In other words, this is one of those places you'll have to enter at your own risk. It seems like parts are falling in every time we come back, and you don't want to be crushed? Those cave-in spots are exactly where people encounter quite a few strange sights and sounds. Many ghost hunters have claimed to have felt and heard a great deal of things while here. First off, the most common phenomenon people experience is that of someone touching their arms or legs when no one is around. Even weirder, though, is that some people have even claimed to hear people whisper into their ear when no one else is around. Yeah, 
that might make you consider bringing an extra pair of pants along. 7. Peter's Cartridge Company, King's Mill What was once a factory for gun cartridges now sits vacant in King's Mill. While the area around it has grown, and seen the likes of King's Island and a boom of tourism, the factory has become overgrown with vines, and shattered windows are all over the place. You can't help but admire the overall impressiveness of the architecture throughout the structure, though. The place might not look like much anymore, but it used to be a true treasure. These days, it's very dangerous to go anywhere near it. There are holes in the floors, and parts of the structure are very unstable. SWAT teams from around the area use it for training purposes, but even they know their way around the place. In other words, don't even bother trying to mess around near this site, because it's actually dangerous. Just take the architecture in from a distance. It's still really impressive. 8. The Newberry Airplane Graveyard, Newberry. Yes, someone has taken the time to amass a collection of old warbirds that no longer fly, and the results are breathtaking at time. Planes from all different squadrons and portions of history are stretched out for what seems like a full mile. This collection was started by a guy who had a particular passion for collecting the planes, which makes this assortment even more impressive, considering he got them all just for leisure. As you can imagine, he doesn't exactly want people snooping around his collection, but he does allow people to take a look on occasion. Some of the planes are still in pretty good condition, and it's like stepping back into history when you experience them up close. They may never see action again, but it's nice to know that there are still private collectors interested in preserving pieces of history.